It, it looks, well, I would say it looks sort of pretty, but it looks like we've got <laughs> a little really. dirt on the lens there. <laughs> Someone get up there 100 floors and wipe off that lens. Uh, let's show you where we are with our uh, forecast for today, because I think we could see a few snow showers late tonight, but most of the day it's just going to be cloudy skies. 20 for our daytime high. This is not a one size fits all forecast, though. Some of you are going to be into the mid 20s. Some of you may be stuck in the single digits. It really is just depending on where you are. But overall, I think the clouds are going to rule the day today. Once we get into tonight, I think we'll start to see a few snow showers develop. It's all part of that system that's moving in out of the south. It's going to be very light. It likely won't mount to very much, maybe a half an inch on top of what we've already seen. That may cause a couple of slick problems by early morning. In fact, we may see a few snow showers for the morning commute, but overall, I don't think it's going to be more than a half an inch to maybe an inch in a few isolated spots. Temperatures are cold, so it'll be another amount of light, fluffy snow. Temperatures won't cool down very much overnight. They'll actually warm up into the mid 20s for tomorrow as we see more scattered nature to the snow showers. Again, these aren't major systems that are moving our way like we saw with the past one. That is going to stay to our south and to our south and east. Now if things change and that gets a little closer. Well, then places like Valparaiso and Rensselaer, we may have to see if you're going to add some snow totals to what you already have on the ground. 12 is what we'll call it for tonight. Let's say a few snow showers, mainly late by early morning. I think a chance of snow is going to stay in the forecast for tomorrow. But look at this. While we will stay cold for the rest of this forecast, 20 actually seems warm compared to where we have been. But 35 is pretty close to average and we'll get there by Sunday. And I've looked at the long range models. I always like to get a good look at what's going to be coming way down the road. We may go 35, 37, 39. Could we get into the 40s or 50s by the end of next week? It is certainly possible. You'll have to stay tuned.